Hey guys, welcome to day 145 of my carnivore journey. And if this is the first time you're joining me, then welcome. This is where I do a daily vlog of my carnivore journey, where I tell you what I eat, how I felt. That's like the, the couple of things I try to get through to you every day. Some days we'll talk a little bit about my opinions of the carnivore diet. Um, but you're definitely, if, if you are wanting to know anything about the carnivore diet or what it's like on a daily basis, hit that subscribe for me. It's free and come aboard and welcome to the family. For the rest of you guys, let's get going. Um, I just want to say thank you for the turnout for the live event yesterday when we had uh, Dan Linehan on. I really appreciate uh, Dan and, of course, all your guys' support, your questions, your interactions. It was a great show. I really enjoyed it. Um, tonight, I had steak and eggs. That's right. <laughs> steak and eggs. Again, remember I told you guys I had three days of steak. Now, the last steak I had, like two-thirds of it was like gristle, and I just was like miserable in a way, you know. I choked like two-thirds of it down. Today, I saved the best for last. It was the best cut. Like there was four bites left, like four small bites. Um, other than that, juicy. You guys can even see in the picture, there was a ton of juice in the bottom of the – and that was even after letting it rest and – uh, but that juice, the, the the steak juices and butter, and then the, the eggs, I did a couple over medium eggs. And they kind of screwed up at the last minute. I got a new spatula, though, and I'm excited. It's just that I, I, I screwed it up, not the spatula. The spatula had the eggs perfect. I screwed up the flip. I didn't commit like I should have, and I messed them up. And, and the things I, I made over medium eggs like a ton. I made them a ton. But I screwed that up. So I'm, I want to take the blame on that one. Um, other than that, uh, today felt um, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, I, was, I was starting to get a little run down at times uh, because of all the moving and things like that. But here these last couple of days, as I've been starting to kind of maybe a little more stress has kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, I mean, I have other stresses in my life. But... You know, obviously being in a relationship uh, at the end of 19 years, a lot of emotions, um, being under the same roof, definitely had a lot of tension. Um, I'm still working through emotions, but hey, I mean, at least I'm kind of in my own space and she's in her own space and we're able to kind of work things out um, ourselves a little bit. But anyways, uh, but as far as the, the carnivore goes, um, I haven't really been... Um, pooping a whole lot like there's no regular with with carnivore in my opinion it's like you just kind of poop when you have to and then for the most part it's it's usually decent as long as you um, like for me I kind of have my eating habits down so for the most part I'm eating about the same amount of fats every day so my poop has been pretty consistent and it hasn't been too difficult or too easy so I think I'm in the ballpark on my fats I've got a few different subject, uh, suggestions from people about whether I'm eating too much, eating too little, whether I'm, you know, eating not enough fats, um, because, you know, obviously I share every single thing and the approximate portions of everything I eat. So you can see what I eat in a 24 hour period. Um, I can just tell you this. I've been satisfied and my poop's been fine. So I don't think I need more fats. I think. That's when I'll start hitting diarrhea territory. Um, again, haven't been constipated, so I feel like I'm in the ballpark on the fats. As far as the amount of food, I mean, I guess I could possibly see see me eating a bigger lunch, maybe. But the way I work, the, my job, uh, having a couple eggs or something is, is just a lot easier for me than having a, an actual lunch. Um, and I definitely don't really want breakfast. I'm not a big breakfast person. Um, don't give me day. Don't 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 get me wrong. Like if I went to like an actual breakfast restaurant and had like pancakes and syrup and all that, you know, sugary, uh, tasty poison, then um, then yeah, you know, they there was. I'm I'm talking. I'm not talking about the breakfast foods. I'm just saying breakfast as in 
Because even then, when I would eat those those breakfast meals, they would usually be at night or something, like at a Waffle House or for dinner or something. They were hardly ever actually in the morning. Uh, funny how that is, right? But I'm not a morning person. Some of you, I'm sure you're up bright and early and everything else. I've never really been a daytime person. I usually will start my days at earliest nine o'clock. But typically, you know, my 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 first job starts at ten thirty, and then I work until usually about two thirty at night with my second job, which I am going to be working tonight. But um, feeling wise, again, carnivore diet's been great. I'm telling you, um, is it is it a box of uh, roses? Um, not always, but I mean, like like for example, Carrie from Homestead How, right? He talks about how carnivores don't fart. I have to disagree. I still I still fart every once in a while, just not near as much. So, uh, but I love. Carry and his enthusiasm and what he's doing with the healing for humanity. So I'm going to definitely put that out there. Um, if you do, if you don't know about Homestead How, like with that channel, by all means go check it out. Um, let's see what other kind of things that you always hear. Um, you always hear about energy. Oh, here's another thing I was thinking of this morning. You know, there's some carnivores that are like, hey, man, now it used to be it took me like. 20 minutes to kind of wind up the motor and get my day started. You know, now I just, I get out of bed and as soon as my, my feet hit the ground, I'm, I'm off and running. Eh. Sometimes <laughs> I would say for me, it's been a little bit of both. There has been days. I will admit, I will get some rest and get, get up and uh, you know, Hit the ground running, so to speak. Kind of sit up and put my slippers on or something. Start going through my day, and you know. Um, but then you know, like this morning, and there's some mornings where I just kind of sit up, and you know. Again, I think that your diet can really help you out on a lot of things, but there's always going to be sort of some ups and downs, and there's other factors, right? So, don't think just because you might have days where you may not get right out of bed. There may be other factors going on too and other things in your life that you're just not looking forward to getting out of bed for. <laughs> so sometimes the rest is so good, you don't want to get up right away. So just keep that in mind. Don't be frustrated. Um, the A lot of, pretty much I've experienced everything that people have said, you know, with reversing health stuff, uh, getting some good sleep, dreaming more, um, you know, uh, stronger nails at times, you know, the, the, all these things I've been experiencing. So don't get me wrong. Like when you hear all these different stories, you will experience them. You will experience it. You will experience them too. <laughs> there I said it. Yes. You will experience them. So, but again, is it going to be like every day and like, is your day going to be perfect all the time? And sometimes when you watch some of these other channels, and I'm not picking on anybody in particular, I love a lot of channels. I think we always need channels. I'm just, I'm just trying to, I know that because some of you guys will watch other channels and I watch other channels and sometimes they make it seem like I'm still possibly missing out on something. I'm like, Man, they've they've been doing it about as long as me. And then the way they're talking about it, it's like they're here and I'm here. Like, what the hell am I missing? I'm eating like the same shit. So sometimes I start to wonder, but then I, I realize that they're really trying to promote the positive part of it the most. And and the negative parts um are just a little bit of in-betweens, and they're really nitpicky parts. So don't get me wrong, guys. I don't want you to focus on the negative, like, see, carnivore is not perfect. No, by far, all the other diets, carnivore. I mean, it's, it's, carnivore diet is a lot easier for me to maintain. It's a lot easier than keto. I don't have to sit there and count anything. I just eat. I just eat and I'm satisfied. I'm full. I'm happy. I just wanted to convey the fact that it's not going to always be perfect every single night 
It's just not going to be perfect. But even on your, your, your low side of things, your low side is still way above the, the, the bullshit stuff. So trust me when I say, don't get me wrong. If you have a, a dip in, in your energy or whatever, it's still great and you're still going to be able to pull things. But every day, my stomach feels decent. My arthritis stuff doesn't feel now i will say after the tacos the uh um after the taco night yesterday today and i don't know because it was rainy today but i was getting a little bit of arthritic type feeling i have this knuckle where it like pops and and sort of aches and then i have another uh finger that will also do it like out of all the fingers those two were the worst and today I actually felt them again for the first time in a while. I was like, holy moly. And I kept popping my kept pop, popping my, my thumb and, you know, doing the thing I do where I'm kind of like pop it like a certain way like this. And I'm just like, ah, oh, man, this sucks. Like, what the hell? So I don't know if it was just a little bit of the, the, the taco night last night. I mean, who knows? Who cares? I, I honestly, it's not going to bother me that much. It wasn't like painful, painful. And I feel better today. Um, could it have been the rain? Like, you know, when they always say, oh, it, it's raining out. My, my joints are aching. I've had some rain since I've been on carnival. We've had some storms and rains and I've been fairly fine. So who knows? Like I said, I don't tend to stress over every little thing, right? I just wanted to pass on to you guys. So you understood like with, with the diary, like, it's don't don't set your expectations way up here and think, oh, man, I'm going to be like flying high. You will feel good. You'll feel solid. You're going to have your ups and downs. There's going to be some days you're going to be like amazing and you will be up there. And then some days you're just going to be down here. But you're down here is still way above the other shit. OK, so if that makes sense, you guys have a good night and we will see you in the next video, guys. And oh, yeah, day 30 or the 30 day mark for this set here, which is day 150. That's a Wednesday. I'm going to try to go live. I'm going to weigh in now. I got bad news, guys. I got, I have a new scale. Uh, unfortunately, when I moved, I couldn't take the scale with me. Um, even though I'm the only one using it, but I couldn't take the scale. I, um, however, my, she did give me a, my wife, my, my wife did give me an extra scale or a different scale that we hadn't used in a long time. And it's a digital scale. It's, it's in fact, it's even, it has a bigger screen and it used to be really good. I put four brand new batteries in it, fired up. It still remembered my profile, but like it, when I weighed it or when I stood on it and I was doing my profile, it said I weighed like 192 and I know damn well, I am not 192. Uh, so I tried resetting it or whatever. There's just no real like calibration to it or something like, so I had to abandon that one. And I have a manual scale, like the kind where it's like, you know, the actual, <laughs> you know, so we're going to just weigh myself. I, I did do my best to zero the, 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 the needle. Um, so we're going to do my best to weigh and see what that is and whatever that is, we'll just go by that in the future and um, like I said, we just have to adjust to the new scale. And then maybe one of these days I'll be able to afford the other scale that we had, which was the fancier one. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.